Hello beer tubers, welcome to yet another beer review from the Wharf's 10th anniversary. Uh, and uh, in this review we're going to be looking at a beer from Westram Brewing Company. And this is their uh, Westram Audit. And this is the Westram Brewing Company logo right there. <laughs> Looks like that. Um, and Audit is an English style strong ale on 6.2, right? Yeah, or something like that. I think it was 6.2. Uh, traditional kind of English strong ale. Dark yeah. copper. Yeah. Really dark copper. Silver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Silver colored. It's got a little bit of a head actually compared to the other beers yeah. we've had. And the head is, I'd say, like off whitish. But still for cask ale, non existent almost. Um, but let's take out the aroma. No carbonation. Almost like milk. Super fruity. I mean, it's got so much of that English fruit ester yeah. from the yeast. Mm. I get so much like red berry and um, kind of that sweet, almost wine gum, basset wine gum aroma. I get yeah. some home homemade bread. Like yeah, a, definitely. Like bready, oh, yeah, bready, yeah, yeah. Uh, the bread is like when you yeah. just put it, uh, when the bread has been in the oven for a while, and you get like those. Uh, just when you take it yeah, out, yeah, you put yeah. it out. Definitely. Cool. Oh yeah, that's you know, right. that that bready yeasty kind of yeah. smell to it. Yeah, and it's it's like um, it's it's not the most complex aroma at all, really. No. But it's it's very traditionally English. Uh huh. Or British, I'd say. British, yeah. Um, a little bit of a toasted maltiness maybe in there too, or not. Yeah. Well, I think it's more so the fruit ester that shines through along with the breadiness. And a little bit of a maybe nutty note in there as well. Yeah. Syrup, nutty note kind of. But very fruity. I mean, this is a super fruity, like strong ale. Let's call it a strong ale because yeah, that's a catch all category. Yeah. 6.2, so English strong ale. But uh, super fruity in that sense. and. Uh, it's got that almost kind of generic berry note. I'm, I'm also picking up some, some uh, green, like veg, uh, veggie, green matter. Like if you take a, a leaf and chew on it, or a piece of grass and chew on it, kind of greenish. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But definitely something left over from the hops. Yeah, a little bit of a kind of a bittery. Weird hop. Flavor. Yeah, it's kind of wrong to call it vegetable. Yeah, but because vegetable is green, usually a green, sign of infection. Yeah, yeah, green matter. Uh, green. Yeah, let's say like that, like a grassy kind of. Grass. I can, I can see that. Yeah, because it's, but it, it not, is there, but it's very faint. Yeah, not to be confused with the grassiness you can get from uh, overly hopped um, IPAs. IPA yeah. or something. Yeah. Not to be confused with that, but more like if you take off a leaf or. Piece of grass and smell that or chew on it. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of a, the toffee note, but I all again this one so far the most I get a phenolic character. There's a light kind of alcohol presence to it. Yeah. It's not intense, but it's there. But um, do you guys want to give it a taste? Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. The hot flavor you're talking about <laughs> definitely carry through in the flavor, especially in the sense of the bitterness. Yeah. Because it's it's not super bitter, but it's slightly bitter. Because that bitter kind of aftertaste is on the back of your tongue. But again, it's more of a generic hop flavor, yeah. per se, than like a specific like grapefruit or citrus. Or, none or, of or also more in the matter, you go, oh, that tastes like uh, Fuggles, or that tastes yeah, yeah. like E.K. It's more just a generic Generic. Hoppy. Uh, noble hop, I would say. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's, it's got that British spicy. Hop. Yeah, yeah, it's actually got a lot of spiciness in the, yeah. on the palate when you think of it. If you take a sip and then exhale through your nose, try that. Yeah, you can, get... can, can you feel the alcohol? Yeah, you get that phenolic. Yeah, you can feel kind of a, a and it, it's slight, like, slight burn and phenolic. And, and the phenolic flavor kind of lingers a little. Yeah, it's not too much, and it's not in a necessarily bad way. No, 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 no. Uh, it's almost it's like there. a taking bite of a green apple kind of. Yeah, yeah, lightly. I can choose. But I again think it's got that very traditional marmalade fruity ester from the yeast. Uh, the kind of almost like Bassett wine gum. And again, yeah. that carries into the, the red apple you were talking yeah. about. Yeah, and then mouthfeel medium, nothing great. Yeah. Nothing. Not Pretty great. Not, nothing. Fairly dry. Yeah, fairly, fairly dry. dry but I'm not too fond of the uh, esters as you, uh, that you talk about. But rating wise, this is a 74. Still a great beer worth checking out, worth trying. And again, from cask. Cask is one of my favorite 
serving styles. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. mine, mine as well. I, I do prefer cask if I can get it. Mm. And I would say this is above average. Not as high, I would say about 70, because I think that the um, yeast character is too intense. It is, it's a bit too intense, and, and the whole coating of the tongue. Um, so uh, that does the review of the Vesram audit. <laughs> Differing opinions here. Yeah. Um, I kind of like that really marmalade fruitiness, but I can I, I can actually though see where Tua is coming from with it being too much. Because actually the dryness it leaves on the back of the palate can get a little like too intense. Yeah, you go like... Yeah. It's it's not like it's not too intense, but it's definitely it can get a little too much. Stay if if I, I if I think the dryness and all, I'd probably say maybe more or less a seventy six, but still, I think it's a solid English style. Uh, strong ale to catch everything in that yeah. category. So, <laughs> hey guys, that does for the everything beer review. Everything over four strong <laughs> yeah. ale. So, guys, that does for the beer review of the Westerham audit. Remember to let us know let us know what you think of the brew if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're gonna say cheers. 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 And we're gonna see you guys in another video. Yeah, congratulations to Wolf again. <laughs> congratulations to the Wharf.